usually with the battery problems, um, machine might be a bit, bit unstable on a, on a battery only where it switches off. But if we connect the charger, it should be sta stable. So if we connect the charger. There you go. You can see that the charger is providing current. Let's see if it's going to switch off this time. There you go. So heat loaded up with, without any problems. It's just not, not ba basically staying on when it is not connected to a charger. That's a quick way to identify if it's a battery problem or something else. So let's take it apart and basically remove the battery and replace it with a new one. So the trackpad. Once we, we remove the double side tape, battery comes up pretty smooth and the new battery is good to go in. So we put the battery in, we want to clean this machine pretty well because we've seen lots of organic materials oxidizing inside of, of this max and uh, corroding the chips. So we're going to take out also the, the charging connectors and check them out. They look a little bit dirty, so let's clean them. All right, we clean the socket. You can see how much shinier it is now. Let's put it back because um, we, need, we need to make sure that this socket stays clean because we do get a lot of um, charging failures caused by uh, bad connection on them. Okay, so battery has been replaced. We service the machine as well, clean the ports, and it's good to be closed. There we go, we re replace the battery and um, it, the machine has been serviced and it's good to go.